Thank you. I, uh, I arrived uh, in Toronto a couple of days early this year because I was supporting another film that I helped produce. And for the first time in many years, it was uh, an opportunity for me to participate and to partake of a truly great festival. Uh, I, I can't tell you what it feels like to be a filmmaker and to see long lines of people at midnight uh, to watch a little-known South Korean film or to feel the anticipation in a room as you sit there at 10 in the morning because they've heard of some wildly talented 28-year-old director whom the programmers have discovered among the thousands of entries. And so to you and to, to all the volunteers and to um, everyone with the festival, I just want to thank you for inviting us to your fabulous party. I hope you like the gift that we brought. And uh, it's not to uh, invite us back. So thank you so much. This is the third film I made in Canada, and the crews and the actors that I've had the privilege of working with are among the best in the world. Some of them are in the audience tonight, and I'd like to just take one moment to recognize them by name. I can't see them, but I know they're out there somewhere. Our production designer, Isabel Gay. Our line producer, Josette Barata. And two extraordinary actors, Brett Watson and Aiden Lovecamp. Also with us are our executive producers, and I want to give them a special thanks. Um, that's Lisa Illich Murray, Glenn Murray, and Julie May. Thank you so very much. Also our co-producer, Matt Booth. Now this film would not have become a reality without C.A. Ben Kramer and Rogue Sutherland, and uh, Graham Taylor and his team from WME. And I want to thank them personally. Thank you so very much. We were also very lucky to have been embraced early on by Patrick Waxberger, Rob Friedman, and the Foreign Sales Group at Lionsgate. Thank you. And I would be remiss without um, expressing our excitement that you have now found a new partner for the domestic release of this movie, Andrew Carpenter, and his new company, Bleaker Street. We look forward to that. Thank you. Now, it's axiomatic that every film was a collaboration. And frankly, it feels wrong to be standing up here alone. And I'm going to remedy that now by inviting a few people to join me on stage. This being my first independent film, I've heard a million horror stories. But Dale Johnson put the lie to them all. He believed in the script and in me. His passion never wavered. At times, he even both in mind when things got tough. Dale Johnson. Ten years ago, Gail Pat decided that this story is worth telling. Without her dogged, irrepressible determination, it simply would never have happened. Gail. I first fell under the spell of Steve Knight's writing more than, oh, maybe 15 years ago, and Everything, everything you see tonight on screen is our effort to serve his extraordinary vision. Even I'm a screenwriter. It's no coincidence um, that every member of this extraordinary cast is as gifted on stage as they are on film. The nature of the parts demanded that. And no one is more so than Robin Weiger. Robin? The phrase, an actor's actor, applies to a very select group of true chameleons who somehow manage to reinvent themselves so as to be almost recognizable from, from one role to another. But tonight, please welcome the real Michael Stuhlbarg. Uh, with work so consistently brilliant, Peter Sarsgaard has become the gold standard of ensemble acting. With humility and with generosity, he commits utterly, not just to his own role, but to the whole movie. And the rest of us have no choice but to rise to his level. Peter.
There is simply no praise that I can give Liev Schreiber that the critics of stage, screen, and now television have not already bestowed upon him. I'll say simply that he's the best of his generation, and I'm going to leave it at that. When all is said and done, whoever's number one on the call sheet sets the tone for the entire enterprise. Not just in terms of talent and work ethic, but as an inspiration to everyone with a cast of crew. Toby McGuire didn't just take on what might be the most difficult role of his career and crush it, in my humble opinion. He somehow also managed to serve as executive as producer while doing it. So ladies and gentlemen, Toby McGuire.